right, welcome to another deep dive. Today, we're tackling a fascinating figure, David Hilbert, and we're going to try to understand his impact on the world of quantum mechanics. Sounds good. Now, our main source for this exploration is an essay, David Hilbert, Mathematic Pioneer, Der Quantum Mechanic, by Jörg Schnepet. Oh, yeah, I've read that one. It's really insightful. Schnepet does a great job of explaining how Hilbert's mathematical ideas laid the groundwork for quantum mechanics. Exactly. And that's what we're going to delve into today. You know, how did this mathematician, born back in 1862 in Königsberg, end up influencing a field as revolutionary as quantum mechanics? What was it about his approach to math that made such a difference? Well, Schnepet really highlights Hilbert's unique approach to problem solving, <laughs> this incredible ability to abstract and systematize incredibly complex mathematical concepts. Yeah. He firmly believed that any properly formulated math problem could be solved, and this belief really drove his work. It's fascinating how his mindset shaped his research, and his influence wasn't limited to just his own work, right? Schnepat talks about his role at the University of Göttingen. Oh, absolutely. Göttingen under Hilbert became this global hub for math and physics. It drew some of the biggest names in science at the time. Can you imagine being a fly on the wall in those seminars with figures like Einstein, Noether, and von Neumann all exchanging ideas? It must have been an incredible time to be there. The kind of intellectual ferment that Schnepat describes, it really set the stage for the huge leaps we saw in physics in the early 20th century. And Hilbert's methodological rigor was a key factor. Okay, let's get into the heart of Hilbert's contribution to quantum mechanics. Schnepat points to the concept of Hilbert space as being absolutely crucial. Can you break down why this mathematical framework was so groundbreaking? So what's really interesting here is that Hilbert wasn't setting out to revolutionize physics. He was deeply immersed in abstract mathematical problems, particularly in the area of functional analysis. Right. And almost by accident, he developed the perfect mathematical language for quantum mechanics. Think of Hilbert's space as a kind of stage, a vector space with an inner product, a way to measure angles and lengths. This structure allowed physicists to apply the same rigorous mathematical tools they were used to with finite systems to the infinite possibilities of quantum states. It was a game changer. So if I picture an arrow representing a direction in space, that's a vector. Is Hilbert's space like that, but with potentially infinite directions where a quantum state can exist? That's a great analogy. In quantum mechanics, a particle state isn't a single value. It's a vector in this Hilbert space. And the properties we measure, things like energy or momentum, are represented by operators acting on these vectors. Operators, meaning? They're like mathematical instructions that act on these quantum state vectors. Like, if you have an energy operator, it can tell you the possible energy values a particle can have. So it's not just about where the quantum state is in this Hilbert space, but also about having the mathematical tools to describe and predict how it might change or what we might observe when we measure it. Exactly. And even the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics, the fact that we can only predict the likelihood of measuring a certain property, is built into the structure of Hilbert space. Schnepphat mentions this equation, Chekhi's one. Mm -hmm. It essentially says that the length of the state vector is always one. This ensures that when we calculate probabilities, they always add up to one, which is, well, fundamental to probability. It's incredible how Hilbert, seemingly working in this abstract mathematical world, provided the framework for understanding something as complex and counterintuitive as quantum mechanics. It really speaks to his conviction that math is the language of nature, that it reveals the underlying structure of the universe. And it wasn't just him working in isolation, was it? Schnepphat mentions Hilbert's interactions with other pioneers of quantum physics. How did his work connect with the thinking of people like Max Born or Werner Heisenberg? You know, that's what made getting in so special. This wasn't just Hilbert handing down tools from on high. It was a genuine exchange of ideas. Hilbert worked closely with Max Born, who was instrumental in developing matrix mechanics, a precursor to Heisenberg's formulation of quantum mechanics. Oh, wow. And Hilbert's mathematical rigor helped Born to really solidify the mathematical underpinnings of the theory. So a true collaboration. And what about Heisenberg and his uncertainty principle? Heisenberg also benefited immensely from Hilbert's insights. The uncertainty principle, you know, the idea that you can't perfectly know both the position and momentum of a particle at the same time. Well, it found his most elegant and rigorous expression within the framework of Hilbert space. Schnepphat reminds us of the inequality, Kixor 2.2 showing how this fundamental limit is mathematically embedded within the structure of Hilbert space. 
It's amazing how Hilbert essentially set the stage and these physicists developed the rules of the quantum game within that stage. It's a great way to put it. And this collaborative atmosphere, as Schneppet emphasizes, really pushed quantum mechanics towards a more unified and complete understanding. And this ultimately led to John von Neumann's seminal book on the mathematical foundations of quantum mechanics, right? Absolutely. Published in 1932, it was the first truly comprehensive and rigorous treatment of quantum mechanics using the language of Hilbert space. It demonstrated the incredible power and consistency of this framework for describing the quantum world. So far, we've explored how Hilbert's abstract math became the foundation for understanding quantum mechanics. But Schnepat also highlights its significance for modern quantum technology. How does this seemingly theoretical work translate into actual tangible applications? That's where the true power of Hilbert's contribution shines. The abstract way we describe quantum states and operators within Hilbert spaces isn't just a theoretical exercise. It's the very foundation upon which cutting-edge quantum technologies are being built. Schnepad gives some great examples. Like quantum computers, they're getting so much attention these days. Where does Hilbert's space fit into that? Well, the fundamental unit of information in a quantum computer is the qubit. And as we've discussed, these qubits are represented as states within a Hilbert space. Now, unlike classical bits, qubits can exist in superpositions of states, meaning they can be in multiple states at once, and they can be entangled with other qubits, their fates intertwined. Right. These uniquely quantum properties, which are precisely described using Hilbert space mathematics, allow quantum computers to potentially outperform classical computers in certain tasks. Schnepat mentions Shor's algorithm, which can factor large numbers much faster than any known classical algorithm, and Grover's search algorithm, which offers speedups for searching unsorted databases. These algorithms rely on precisely controlled manipulations of qubits within these high-dimensional Hilbert spaces. It's mind-blowing how abstract math from decades ago enables technologies that are just starting to emerge. That connection is pretty mind-boggling. What about quantum cryptography? It promises unbreakable encryption, right? How does Hilbert space come into play there? Quantum cryptography relies heavily on Hilbert space principles as well. Take quantum key distribution, or QKD, for example. It leverages quantum phenomena like entanglement and superposition to create encryption keys that are theoretically impossible to intercept without being detected. Schnepat explains this idea of entangled states, how they can't be described as separate entities, right? Exactly. It's this interconnectedness of entangled states that forms the basis for the security of QKD. Any attempt to eavesdrop would inevitably disturb the entangled states, revealing the intrusion. It's incredible how these advanced technologies are built upon mathematical concepts that were developed long before they even existed. Schnepat also briefly touches on the wider impact of Hilbert's ideas beyond quantum mechanics. Oh, yeah. Hilbert's influence extends far beyond quantum physics. As Schnuckpap points out, fields like field theory, statistical mechanics, signal processing, and even machine learning draw upon the mathematical structures he helped pioneer. His vision of a rigorous axiomatic approach to science continues to inspire new theoretical developments across various disciplines. Schnuckpap even suggests a long-term impact on how scientists approach formulating new theories. Absolutely. Hilbert's emphasis on establishing clear and rigorous mathematical foundations has provided a blueprint for constructing theories across many fields. Even in cutting-edge areas like string theory or quantum field theory, the tools and principles they use trace back to Hilbert's work. So as we wrap up this deep dive into Jürgen Schnepet's essay on David Hilbert, it's amazing to see how this one mathematician's abstract work laid the groundwork for a scientific revolution and continues to fuel technological innovation in the 21st century. I think the biggest takeaway is that David Hilbert's mathematical rigor, specifically his development of the Hilbert space concept, was absolutely essential for both formulating and understanding quantum mechanics. His work gave us the mathematical language to describe quantum states and operators, which underpins our entire understanding of how quantum phenomena work. And, as Schneppit makes clear, this isn't just ancient history. Hilbert's contributions are directly relevant to modern quantum technology. We're talking about the very principles behind the algorithms that could power future computers and create unbreakable communication systems. And his insistence on a clear, axiotic approach has fundamentally changed how scientists approach their work, encouraging a more rigorous and mathematically grounded approach to building new theories. I completely agree. It's a legacy that continues to shape scientific thought across many fields. Well, on that note, I want to leave you with a final thought. 
It's amazing to consider how abstract mathematical frameworks, ideas that might seem far removed from our everyday lives, can unexpectedly become the foundation for revolutionary technological advancements. David Hilbert's profound influence on the quantum world, a world we're just beginning to understand, is a perfect example of this incredible phenomenon. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into Yurgo Schnepeth's essay on David Hilbert. It was a pleasure.